In 2023, the public was swept by a wave of headlines about ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI. It can provide incredibly detailed answers to the most complex questions. And if that's not enough, it can crack jokes, write poetry, or summarize the content of a movie or a book. What truly caused a media explosion and numerous discussions was how ChatGPT correctly diagnosed a mysterious illness in a four-year-old child after 17 doctors couldn't. The child was experiencing multiple symptoms, including pain and stunted growth. After three years of doctor visits, his mother turned to ChatGPT. AI suggested that it might be the tethered cord syndrome, a neurological condition where the spinal cord is attached to the surrounding tissues of the spine. This diagnosis was later confirmed by a doctor. The boy recently underwent a spine correction surgery and is now recovering. However, not a day goes by without news about something ChatGPT has done that or that. I believe you no longer notice how much everyone writes about artificial intelligence every day. But here, we come to one of the most significant issues. The rapid pace of technological progress has shaped this century, pushing the boundaries of what we once considered possible. We are increasingly approaching a concept that challenges the very essence of our existence, the technological singularity. Imagine a future in which machines surpass human intelligence, where their abilities to create, learn, and evolve outpace our own. This scenario leads us to a transformation as profound as the birth of human life on Earth. The potential emergence of artificial intelligence surpassing human capabilities raises numerous questions. What if machines become smarter than humans one day? What if they can create, learn, and evolve faster than us? What if they decide to take over the world? The term technological singularity gained widespread recognition thanks to a 1993 article by American mathematician Werner Vinge. In his article, he argued that once humans create intelligence superior to their own, a technological and social transition will occur, somewhat resembling tied-up space-time at the center of a black hole. Furthermore, Vinge even defined the time period when this might happen. I think that creating intelligence surpassing human capabilities will happen in the next 30 years. To avoid ambiguity about relative time, I'll be more specific. I'll be surprised if this event occurs before 2005 or after 2030," writes Vinge. However, the first person to use the concept of singularity in a technological context was John von Neumann. He defined it as the moment when an artificial intelligence system becomes capable of self-improvement without human intervention, leading to exponential growth of intelligence that is beyond our comprehension. In other words, it's a point on the edge of scientific abyss where all existing models and future forecasts simply stop working. This point is associated with the emergence of an unprecedented type of intelligence on our planet, one that not only vastly surpasses human intelligence, but is also significantly different from it. It will progress so rapidly that humans will become incapable of predicting or controlling it. At that moment, humans will find themselves in a post-human era. Imagine that you are enjoying a swim in the ocean. The closer you get to the shore, the easier it is to predict what lies ahead. But with the singularity, it's entirely different. It will be like a massive whirlpool and a tsunami sweeping everything in its path within a second as soon as you step onto the shore. In other words, all previous knowledge and forecasts will become irrelevant, and the future will be uncertain. Avoiding uncertainty in this case is simply impossible. But why? Imagine this. One morning, you wake up and discover that a gigantic, extraterrestrial spacecraft has landed on Earth. And I'm not talking about all those cliches in movies. I'm talking about a real alien spacecraft. Your first thought probably won't be, well, we've finally had this encounter. More likely, you won't have a clue about what will happen next. That's precisely what I mean when I talk about the appearance of a completely different and more intelligent mind on our planet. But what's the connection between aliens and AI? Yes, you're right. Artificial intelligence is created by humans and all that. 
But here's the thing. The mind we're talking about won't be like ours. And soon, you'll understand why. Of course, the human era sounds beautiful. But some experts believe that when we create this super smart, super different mind, it could mean the end of our civilization. Lately, you've probably heard statements from Elon Musk or Bill Gates regarding the dangers of artificial intelligence. Moreover, Stephen Hawking repeatedly mentioned that the Divlaominance Bavant of Sapper Intelligent Artificial Intelligence could spell the end of humanity. Some scientists and engineers are so concerned about the potential risks of artificial intelligence that they have signed an open letter calling for the immediate halt of the development and training of all artificial intelligence systems beyond GPT-4. The letter warns that AI systems beyond GPT-4 could pose serious threats to society and humanity, such as unemployment, inequality, wars, surveillance, manipulation, and extinction. The letter also calls for more research and regulation of the ethical and social consequences of artificial intelligence. However, for the general public, all these concerns may seem senseless. Few can truly assess the level of risk. And let's be honest, to most of us, these warnings might appear as the plot of a science fiction blockbuster, captivating on the screen but not something that keeps us awake at night. Behind this lies another point. AI is not developing linearly but exponentially. AI startups are mushrooming, each aiming to solve global problems armed with generative models. However, the reality is a bit less rosy. Technological giants, including Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI, have thrown their hats into the ring, competing to dominate AI. But the race to be the first to create a more real form of artificial intelligence is akin to a nuclear arms race. It carries potential problems. OpenAI is attaching plugins to ChatGPT, enabling it not only to generate responses, but also to interact with the physical world. Meanwhile, Microsoft is integrating its search engine with Bing Chat, as if it could know all the world's information in real time. Both are experimenting with reinforcement learning from human feedback, allowing models to remember and presumably learn from user opinions. Naturally, in this race, any sharp corners on the path to supremacy are being smoothed out. Well, we tech enthusiasts are accustomed to the move fast and break things mantra that has been Silicon Valley's motto since its inception. It's akin to building a massive rocket designed to transport all of humanity to Venus. But amid this madness, one can't help but wonder, who is thinking about how to survive on Venus once we get there? For half a century, the godfather of AI, Jeffrey Hinton, developed the technology underlying chatbots. However, in May 2023, he left Google due to ethical concerns about the technology. As he would later say, the idea that this thing could actually become smarter than people, very few believed it, he stated. But most of them thought it was in the distant future. I myself thought it would happen in 30, 50 years, or even more. Obviously, I don't think that now. Eliezer Yudkowsky is known for his expertise in decision theory. He has led the Machine Intelligence Research Institute and has been working on aligning artificial general intelligence since 2001. He's widely recognized as a pioneer in this field. So Yudkowsky did not sign that aforementioned letter calling for AI restriction because he believes it underestimates the seriousness of the situation and proposes inadequate measures to address it. He argues that the development of artificial intelligence presents profound philosophical and existential challenges. In his podcast on the Bankless channel, he says, The realization came that we're all going to die. I finally burned out and now I'm taking time off. And these aren't just two random phrases taken out of context. Throughout his hour and a half podcast, he repeatedly emphasizes that it's the end for all of us. Even if he were given a billion dollars and enough influence, he still wouldn't know what to do. Artificial intelligence has accumulated immense potential, and it's absolutely clear that we have no idea how to resolve this situation. So, can we prepare in any way? 
Can we guarantee that machines won't harm us? Can we preserve our species if machines surpass our consciousness? I'd like to continue and make more videos on this topic. Please let me know if you found it interesting and would like to delve deeper into the issues of AI and the rapid development of technology.